this is Brett at Reverb, here with our first installment of Modular Mayhem. So the Eurorack world has dozens of manufacturers and over hundreds of modules, and it's really all about combining different things and experimenting to get some really cool sounds and patches. So today I got my main tour case that I use for live performances, as well as some other modules um, over here for processing. And uh, we're gonna kind of take a look at some patches I made and just kind of go through them and uh, check out some of the different things that these modules do. So this whole patch is kind of based off of four oscillators, all given voltages by a random voltage source. All four of those oscillators are going into these two Optimix modules by Make Noise, and we're just gonna kind of mix all four of those in right now so you hear all of them. Over here, our ultra-random analog module is providing all of our voltage sources, and we're gonna, that's going into an IntelliGel U scale, which is quantizing everything, and we're just gonna add a couple notes in this just for, uh, just for fun here. here. We're going to add some decay time. Uh, all of this mix is actually going through the make noise herb verb, so we're just going to kind of add in a little bit more decay, just a little more washed out. And then add in some kind of fun modulation here. The IntelliGel U scale is really cool because you can switch notes on the fly that it's quantizing to, so we can kind of switch up this. Kind of going back to these Optum mixes, these are really neat because they can kind of provide a filter and a mixer circuit, but what's really cool is we can send gates to them and sort of switch up this whole sequence thing we got going on here and make it a, uh, almost bongo-y sound. So we'll do that. Uh, we're going to be sending gates from the 4MS rotating clock divider, which is going to give us uh, a few polyrhythmic gates out. So we're going to send those into the strike inputs. And then we're going to take down the volume controls on these and we're going to have some really cool plucky kind of sounds. sub oscillator right here again. Just going through the modem 440 filter, which is a really awesome uh, big sounding low pass filter. So kind of moving away from this melodic sequence, I actually have the, some of the outputs of these oscillators going into the inputs of the other one, sort of doing some feedback frequency modulation. With these make noise gates, we, once we add some frequency modulation to the oscillators, we get these very, almost more drummy sounds. So we'll do some of that. Once we start detuning these, we're going to get a much different sound, uh, even with getting the normal voltage. So 
So we're going to bring in the Mutable Instruments Rings, which is going to be doing an almost plucked, almost sitar patch that we're going to do over these drums. It should be pretty interesting sounding, especially with this patch. see that what was initially a uh, sort of swirly melodic patch amongst four oscillators is very quickly this sort of weird off-kilter drum patch with an almost sitar sound. So it kind of shows you what you can kind of do within one patch exploration, kind of get from A to B in really, really wild ways. Obviously this is one small patch we can make uh, out of infinite possibilities we can do with just this setup. Again, if you want to read more about any of these modules, be sure to read the blog post. And uh, stay tuned for more modular mayhem from Reverb.com. Thanks.